What's up, guys? How's your paperwork been signed? It's C Camp, and I'm uh, bringing you some more TJ Christmas here. The decision. And uh, that decision, we will be heading to the Pac-12 Pro Style Offense for string in California, the Stanford Cardinal. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pick my number seven as I did in high school, so I will be number nine. Um, so here's some of the interesting coaching trust difference from NCAA 11. Uh, you have to work your way up to the third string, and which is what I'm going to be doing here for this first practice. I'm starting off really slowly, and things are not going well. Um, right now, the practice, you have to have a specific amount of points to uh, get a position battle with your next opponent's or, excuse me, depth chart rank. Uh, right now, I'm still a four-string running back. It's the first week of college football, and I'm off to a terrible, um, pretty horrible start here. Uh, things are not going well for me. Christmas is just being pummeled a lot. And he's not getting the yards he needs here. Four straight plays that have not gone well. And here's another one on the same week. Um, gets pummeled for a couple yards of loss. And just overall, it's been a tough go so far. And he's just not doing well. But you know what? I'm hoping things can get turned around here. And uh, here, uh, we're moving on to week two. Some week two action. I'm trying to still get to the third string. And you know what? Things are starting to get a little bit better here. I'm getting a little more yardage. Things are starting to get a little better here. As I said before, we're just really getting the yards and the points I need to move up. Um, so basically, once uh, you are able to get all of the points that you need to move on to the third string, or next string in this case, I'm trying to get to the third string, you have a position battle with that player, and you have to get a certain amount of points of that. You get 20 repetitions, and it's actually quite, it's actually pretty fun. Um, you know, it's just interesting to see how um, TJ's been panning out so far. And uh, as a player, um, I'm liking where he's going in practice so far. He's getting some good yardage here. Um, and he's really looking good, I mean, just overall, except for that first week of camp and everything of practice it was not looking good for him so uh here's the third week of camp practice and i'm still still trying to get to the spot and i finally get it and i'm finally able to challenge the third string in week four here um but i'm not there yet as here we go position battle against l denman Sadly, I wasn't able to use, uh, when I first came out with this player, I wasn't using real uh, player rosters. So these players are not real. And Andrew Luck, sadly, is named Chase Amos, I believe, or it's like Casey Amos or something. I don't really remember. but So, you know what? I have not gone up to a good start here against uh, Denman, and I need 500 points. But actually, the points add up a little higher. You might have expected 500. No way. But yeah, it's a little higher. I was thinking the same thing as well. But TJ's going to break this one outside for a touchdown. And that's going to seal the deal. And he will get his third position as here's... I have gotten it, and I'm now the third string running back. So here in week five, I am still now attempting to defeat and get past the second string running back who in this case I do not remember his name, but I'm looking pretty strong so far as I get a quick pass there. I thought I was going to break that tackle. It did not work, but I have 29, excuse me, 48 points out of 175, so that's pretty solid to start, and I'm going to get another run here for a couple yards. But just overall, I'm really liking how TJ's panning out for running backs, and um, if you were a Heisman, if you were playing on Heisman and you're a running back, um, it's actually quite challenging to start out if you're a four-string running back as you start. It's quite challenging to start out playing a starting running back in your first couple weeks. Um, it's actually really hard, and it's actually truly realistic of how it's really like in the uh, real college world. So here on this last play, I'm going to break this one outside for another touchdown. Which was nice to see, and in the first week, I was able to get it. So I have my sixth week here against M. Burns, position battle. And let's see how I can pan out here. Uh, I have 650 points I have to get now because 
he is a little bit better than our third string running back, fourth string running back now. But uh, so um, it's interesting to see how I'm able to conquer against some of these guys. And uh, so we have 17 repetitions left, 290 points. That's looking good so far, actually. And I've only gotten six repetitions. And now I have 480 points with 12 repetitions. And I'm going to break that one for about five, five yards. So with six repetitions left, I have 600 points out of 650. And basically here, this play never works, but this is one of the only times it has. I break a tackle, and I have won the position battle, and I will now be challenging the first string. But first I have to get 350 points before I can do anything for that position battle. So with 325 here in week 8, I will go ahead here on my 6th uh, to last repetition, and I will... Try to get some good yardage here to try to get past uh, my first string running back. So on this last play, it is good enough for a chance to challenge Jay Coleman, who is auto-generated name, for 1,000 points here. And this is week 10, I believe, now. It, t it took quite a while for me to actually conquer the chance and get the chance to challenge this running back here so early i'm not getting the yards i want but here on this next play i do get quite a few yards i believe i get 250 points and with 13 repetitions left i break a tackle bounce it outside and get about 300 points that is really nice and now with eight repetitions left 620 points i do another good run here up the middle, and with a first down, I am only 160 away from getting my chance at a start. And here, once again, I will get past a couple guys. And with uh, six repetitions left now, I'm gonna bounce this one outside. And if I can get the first down here, no, I cannot. But if I can, if I can get a first down, so with uh, four repetitions left, they only need a yard, and I have conquered my, the chance to get a start. My position battle has been won. So here we are 10 and 0 playing our rival Cal the Golden Bears and this is my first start with TJ Christmas and this is going to be very exciting as I'm going to be coming out of the tunnel for an actual start in my first game. Uh, we're 10 and 0. We're actually ranked number 1 in the nation. So we're basically challenging a spot in the BCS National Championship here and something kind of surprising I was kind of surprised by a little bit of an uh, presentation, not error, but something I wish they'd change was that here I'm not really the star of the team yet, and I don't really know why I'm leading the crowd at all or leading our team. So that's a little bit of a uh, thing I wish they could change a little bit here. So my first run of my career was for about five yards there. And uh, another run here, just getting a few couple yards as we're already in the end of the first quarter. Nothing really w going on at the end of the first quarter. Um, some of the highlights I had here, sponsored by Lowe's, let's build something together. <laughs> but um, with 2 minutes and 30 seconds left here, they make a deep pass over the middle for a first down here. And Andrew Luck, also known as Chase Amos, just playing as a great quarterback so far. So I don't know what I was doing there. That was probably mostly my fault, as now the score will be 14 to nothing. You know what? Um, it's going to be another replay here. Show what happened. It was actually a decent pass, and I don't know what I was doing, but apparently my halfback really doesn't know how to catch. But that's all right. I'm going to bounce it back here for about 10 yards for a first down. And we're really just trying to beat this Cal Be Golden Bears team. I'm really upset with how we're playing so far. Some of it's my fault. Some of it's just the fact that we can't score for our lives in this game. So, with a couple more runs, I'm able to get a first down. Now it's second and five, and I'm going up the middle here for about a three-yard gain. And on the very next play, I will break this one up the middle for another first down. So just really getting some uh, little yardage, but it will get a first downs most of the time. So, mostly in this game, I've been getting a lot of five-yard, six-yard runs. Just uh, really helping our teams trying to get back in this game so here's one of the biggest runs I had all game actually 
a 12 yard run for a first down and uh, once again I'm running a little screenplay here but that no matter Stanford down the sideline luck to the wide receiver on the outside and I'm excited we're tying the game here but Cal has to score of course and it's 21-14 that was probably the biggest run I've had all game with quite another first down here uh, here's another replay on that uh, I'm going up the middle here great run by my running back Christmas um, so I'm excited with the uh, coming back in this game and four minutes left to go and they make a pass down the sideline I'm just frustrated with our team so I have to set a gnarly block and that was just disturbing to watch as I just made that guy look like a fool out there so I have 137 points and uh, I have to get a thousand more points to move up to be a veteran starter I'm not exactly sure what you get by doing that but here it's 28-21 and our idiot offensive coordinator is basically giving up. I don't know why he is, but we're losing. And he's giving me the ball, the freshman. He's putting all the weight on my shoulders. And you know what? I, I'm i not going to be able to do it here. As Cal is actually going to pull off the upset here in Stanford. But you know what? It's all good. I mean, I'm kind of upset the way our coach just put me out there and said... Andrew Luck, I'm not going to let you lead your team. So here on this final play of the game, game over. We have lost in my hometown as I come off limping here. No big deal. I'm actually not going to be injured after that. But what a sad loss, actually. Just what a bad way to start your season. Trying to get to the BCS championship, and I won't be able to do so because we do lose this game, and it's just pretty upsetting to see that we lose this game right off the bat here, 28-21, but and uh, Cal will win the Stanford Axe Trophy. Uh, here are some of the replays. Here are the play of the game, Cal stopping my running back. So uh, that's pretty much the end of the video. We've got a, probably a minute left, and uh, kind of upset. Uh, Cal's pretty excited, though. I mean, who wouldn't be? They just knocked off the number one team in the nation, and now... Actually, Oklahoma will be the number one team, and the number two will be Alabama. So, they'll probably be marching on to the national championship. I do want to see, wish I could see that game here. So, the Stanford Axe winners are Cal. So, please, everybody, come back for episode four of my Road to Glory with TJ Christmas. I will be signing out. So yeah, thanks for watching all. More vids will come to you soon. See ya.